G'day, this is Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Uh, in this video, we've got some other interesting syntax. So, uh, and it's to do with square brackets uh, and how you can actually not use them. So, if I just set x to be a t array of integer, we can, um, there's a sort of newish syntax where we can actually just assign an array. So we have a six element array. Uh, X three dot two string, something like that. And if we run that, obviously the answer is going to be four because arrays are indexed uh, from zero. So that's very straightforward. But instead of these square brackets, you can use a dot and an open bracket and a dot and a closed bracket. So, um, so control F9 to compile that and we see that it actually compiles quite happily. Um, the syntax uh, is going back basically forever. Uh, in the old days uh, keyboards often didn't have uh, square bracket keys or they were at least very hard to, uh, to type in. And so you could use a, a dot and or a bracket and a dot and the uh, ID insight has a bit of a, a hissy uh, and dot we go dot bracket it's going to put self in there um, so you have to be a little bit careful about using it uh, not that you probably ever use it because um, it's a bit arcane but it's still valid uh, and in fact it can be even more confusing because I can have one round bracket and one square bracket. Um, so uh, basically, they're, they're, they're actually treated as a square bracket. Um, so th um, this and a whole bunch of other um, obscure syntax things are in a um, post by Jim McKeith. I'll, I'll put a link in the YouTube notes um, to it. Uh, and I'll, I'll probably cover a few more of them because they're quite quite interesting. So I mean, you only really need to worry about this if you're writing a uh, Pascal parser or Delphi parser. Um, you probably would not come across it unless you're trying to compile some extremely ancient code, which um, is not entirely impossible because uh, Delphi is pretty pretty compatible with the uh, um, original Pascal syntax. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Um, also be aware that on Embarcadero Academy, I've started a new video series on compression in Delphi, or zip compression in Delphi. So go go check that out. Um, it's half price at the moment uh, while um, sort of early access, so while I'm building it. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you in a later video. So I'm just trying out a different microphone, it's a, a blue snowball, um, rather than using a headset. Um, previously I used it and it was a bit quiet, but uh, the uh, I think the sound quality is better, um, but I just need to sort of boost the volume a bit. So thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.